I mean, anything Supreme is bound to be hyped up, so it was kind of predictable when the New York release got shut down. I mean, if you saw the pictures and videos, it looked like a pre-battle scene from Braveheart out there. Mel Gibson was dead ass out there in a Yankee fitted. Posted. I saw him. Reebok is dope, and I really dig how they've been bringing back all these 90s kicks. My only thing is when they take a classic silhouette like the Kamikaze 2 and just absolutely murder it with like 10 booty ass colorways. eBay is ass cheeks. Unless you're copping like older slept on kicks, then you can find some great deals. But as far as new releases, forget about it. Dudes are beating heads. No homo. What kind of a question is that? Lasagna is excellent. You disgust me. Fuego. Fruity Pebble outsoles. What? Fred Flintstone steez? Yo, what about his wife though, Wilma? Triple OG MILF. Her and Peg Bundy, trailblazers for MILFs everywhere. Ronnie does great work, dope colorways, premium materials, Dumbo thigh, rabbit ass, frog belly, all the ill shit. Bubble, buble, you can pronounce it both ways. I've been trading since lunchtime in the first grade. Well, trying to trade is, is probably a, a more accurate description because it's kind of hard to off a soggy bologna sandwich that Mom Dukes made the night before with way too much Miracle Whip. I dig them, but they're used so much these days and then you gotta deal with all the yellowing issues and stuff like that. Um, I prefer gum bottoms. That's what we should be talking about. Gum bottoms are unfuckwittable. Yes sir, Banana Stew Productions is in full effect. That's the other channel that me and my brother started, Young Buckets Esquire. Please say the Esquire. Go subscribe, link will be below, and the first video will be posted on Saturday, so stay tuned.